Welcome to another Bishno Ballistics video. Today, we've got a very fun rifle that I looked for for a really long time. Uh, this is the Bergara 6.5 PRC. It is a left-handed 6.5 PRC, and you'll notice it's got a shorty little barrel on it. So, let's jump into the shooting. We're going to talk a little bit about what we do today. It's mostly factory. I've got two hand loads that I worked on uh, over the past year. I'm just kind of shooting them up because I had them left over. And then we'll come back to the bench. I've got the target right here behind me. We'll talk about the groups, the accuracy, what I do like about this rifle and why it's probably going on the market really soon. So I appreciate you sticking around. We'll catch you on the backside of this one. Twenty-eight fifty-three, uh, average twenty-eight fifty-six, standard deviation of twenty-two point six. So we're switching over. We're going to the Hornady Outfitter. These are one hundred and thirty grain CX bullets. Um, obviously, I'm out here filming multiple uh, firearms today, and I just filmed the seven PRC. And uh, I don't know when that's going up, but watch that, and I suspect the performance will be pretty similar to this. So. Next rounds are some Federal Terminal Ascent bullets. So 2948, out of the muzzle, it says 3000. All right, these are some hand loads. Got some powder shaking in these 143 grain ELDXs. Twenty six fifty five. I think that must have had a different charge in it. Um, our standard deviation was like eight point five. That last bullet definitely had a different primer in it, which makes me think that it's from a different batch of hand loads. All right, one forty Hornady Black six five PRC. I actually don't know if I've shot any of these. I bet I have. Nope, never have. These are the normal white tail. Are there better cartridges for the job? You have to make that decision for yourself. But I think that group will speak for itself when we measure it out. That's a really incredible group. And, uh, you know, I stand by what I say when I say you don't have to be screaming along to get a really good group out of something. These are some old hand loads. These are actually the ones that I hunted with this past year. Uh, I will be telling a story up on uh, coming up soon in our Stories from Deer Camp series that covers my use of these. But it wasn't out of this rifle. It was out of a different rifle. Uh, killed a really nice deer. Twenty-six eighteen. Not a bad little group. Let's switch up and go a little light. We're gonna shoot these Peterson cartridges with the hundred and twenty-nine grain Acubond long range. Twenty-eight eighty-two. Big jump in velocity there. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate you watching. We've got the target right here, so we'll talk through some of the groups. And I'll just be clear at the top of this one, I only labeled some of the groups in terms of accuracy. And you saw uh, a lot of the shooting there. The only ones that I don't think you got to see were the uh, Winchester match rounds. And there's a reason for that. They just weren't super accurate out of this rifle. And I'll show you that. So let's take a look at the target. We shot pretty much all factory rounds with the exception of uh, this group here, which were some very old hand loads that I had, which you notice the one that got thrown, that was one with a different primer than I I shot the rest of them with so that could be the reason it could just be me it's hard to tell and then i think the other one was uh, this group here ironically right below the first one with the hand loads and that was the other set of hand loads that i shot i actually took a really incredible deer hoping to get that head back soon and we'll do a little story time on that one but in general here most of the groups actually did really well 
And there's a couple things that I want to talk about. Number one, the factory ammo out of this one is fairly accurate. This, this rifle did really good. Uh, our best group, uh, I, I would say personally, was this one here. So this is our normal white tail. It was the one that I didn't expect the best out of, but it turned out to be really great. We shot six rounds. They all went in 1.14 inches. And I bet if you take that flyer out, that's probably about a 0.8 inch group. So pretty strong. So the normal white tail did really good. Uh, the other one that did really good was our first one we shot up here, and it was actually the Barnes. It was the 127 grain LRX. It went in just under an inch. Now, that was almost entirely cold bore, and I would think that there's a lot to thank for why that group did so good. So that one was awesome. And then you have some sort of dispersed groups across it here. And let me be clear. Most of these rounds, you know, the, the hunting rounds, would be fine to use if you're just going to go hunting. There's probably nothing that you would need to worry about if you're taking a deer one, two, potentially even 300 yards. You're talking about around an eight inch target. So listen, what do I think about this rifle? I think it's incredibly accurate. It's a really cool offering from Bergara and the whole point of having a short barrel on it is so that you can add a suppressor. Uh, you get the benefit of the 6.5 millimeter cartridge and you all know I'm a fan with the benefit of also having a short barrel. So you add a suppressor and you're not adding a ton of length. Where I think it misses out, and again, this is your personal preferences. I'm getting a lot of 6.5 Creedmoor speeds out of this one. That's not all bad. If you're looking for 6.5 Creedmoor performance, let's say you're gonna go hunt mule deer, for example, and you want something that's gonna stick to your pack really easily, you don't have to worry about brushing through trees or getting caught in dirt. This rifle is a great choice. For me, I'm not doing a lot of that, at least not with 6.5 PRC. And so I think that's why this one's gonna go up for sale soon. I think it's a great rifle. I love Vergara actions. I think they're incredibly smooth. This rifle was pretty accurate for the most part. We're shooting under an inch. And if I'm shooting uh, pretty close, you know, 100, 200 yards, then this is not a worry. But I'm using something like a 6.5 PRC and I'm wanting 6.5 PRC out of it, which is why you'll notice behind me, I have something very interesting on the table. Some of you are gonna know what this is. If you watch my other 6.5 PRC video, you'll know exactly why I have this. So more to come on my 6.5 PRC story here. But all that to say, I think this is a great rifle. It's not doing quite what I want. And so I think this one's gonna end up on the chopping block. So appreciate you sticking around. Let me know what your thoughts are on these little shorty barrel rifles out of these somewhat Magnum cartridges. I'd love to hear your opinion on them. And uh, if you haven't already, give it a like, hit the subscribe button down below. The majority of you who are watching this aren't yet subscribed. And so I would love for you to stick around and enjoy the community that we're building here because this is truly a community about building up reloaders and practical accuracy. So appreciate you sticking around. We'll catch you in the next one.